Hey, talk to me. How you been? Y'all been good, yo. I see yeah. y'all getting shit super yo. tall. You feel me? Listen, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta chop it up. We gotta, we oh, definitely gotta get in that. We def gotta get in the stool. Like, D, I ain't gonna lie. This shit crazy because um, maybe last year or two years ago, I was in a weird place, right? I'm not sure if niggas watch my interviews. And I know you, I chop it up with, like, I, 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 the only niggas I really chop it up with, I would say it's probably like, because me and you barely chop it up, but it would be me, you, and Roscoe, I feel like, and Key. Yeah. Because so, remember, um, remember, remember, year before last, I was shooting that video out in New York. And yeah, the like, box, box, the box, right? And I was just like, holla that thing for real. The box video. Yeah! I was watching it the other Yo, day. Yo, you know girl. people going back on that video now? They going back on that video no, like, damn, damn, damn. Nah, nah, D, 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 here's the thing, like, here's the thing. And with you, I'm, I'm going to tell you this specifically, because, like, it's different with you. Like, all you need to do, D, I'm telling you, get in a space, just get in, get in a little space where you just start knocking shit the fuck out like i'm telling you look look dd when it comes to talent niggas know you got that it's undeniable honestly you see you see what works for the females now it's either right. in my opinion i feel like it's either lyricism or sexism now i'm not sure if i said that word right but you know the sexual <laughs> appearance and shit my nigga you got in my opinion you got both but when it comes to your lyricism niggas can't fuck with you dude all you really need, this is what helped me. This this is honestly, I'm not gonna give you the code. Like, this is what helped me. I listened, I started with my city because I wanted to blow up in my city first. I feel like when you're from a certain city, what matters is you blowing up in your city first. You understand right. me? So I broke down, all right, cool. What's coming out in my city? You got drill music and you got melodic music. I was already singing. If anybody who listens to my music, yeah, you, you, I was already you, singing this shit. Bitch, so I said, so I said, all I need to really do is just come up with a little sound. And before I know it, I'm there. Yo, D, I used to kill myself every day. Like, yo, what the fuck is my sound? What the fuck is my sound? What the fuck is my sound? Why is this nigga blowing up? Why is this nigga getting more views than me? Why the fuck is I'm just thinking about it. And then before I knew it, it's, it's weird. Like, niggas really say this, and it's true. When you least expect it, this shit comes to you. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, yo. The shit that I'm doing now, y'all, like... I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, because I know when you take off, it's gonna be different. Hey, yo, niggas know me. Niggas know yeah, me. I'm telling you. I'm Come telling on, you. Because, look, here's, here's the thing with niggas. The main problem, I right, niggas, niggas be like, all right, how do I get the hit? Fuck the hit. How do you yeah. make the next hit? How do you make the next record? How do you... It's not about showing people that you can make a hit. It's about showing people you can make music. And that's what really lasts long. I'm not sure if you realize this, but you'll see your artist, right? There'll be an artist that come out, he got a hot ass record. Maybe a month or two later on, the nigga's not even that hot anymore. And then you got a nigga that's just dropping music and he's slowly going up. He's slowly going up. I ain't stressing that shit, though. That's why, like, I'm happy for all y'all. Like, 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 you. You feel me? I know that shit comes to me, and, cause it's, it's y'all, y'all was working hard for that shit. Like you were working hard, I can vouch. I remember that shit. I remember that shit. I remember when niggas were telling me, he was like, "Yo, they all just hit me talking about. He think he got a hit. He think he got one. He think he got one, and boom. What you? What the fuck you do? <laughs> Yo, D, it's Yo, and here's another thing. Um, I wanna talk. I don't really wanna talk about it, but. Here's what I want. I want to get this out the way because I know certain shit that niggas don't know. You gotta right? give me, you gotta give me the number after this. Yeah, no, that, I'm, I'm gonna DM you after this. But look, um, this is to the fans, right? I know this. This is something I do. Y'all like to pick on niggas, like. And here's something. Here's something I noticed. Here's something I noticed. I'm not sure if y'all noticed, and it's not my time, and it's not my space. But I know a lot. You understand me? And me and you gonna chop it up, but. I see that a lot of niggas are coming at Nova now, right? And I want to break this down deep. It's deeper than what niggas understand. We're going to chop it up. But it's deeper than what niggas understand with Nova. And I'm, I'm going to talk to you about that. But I need y'all to ease off on that. I need y'all to ease off on that. Because there's certain shit that the fans don't understand. You understand me? First of all, y'all don't understand how stressful this shit could be. Imagine coming off a TV show. And you're trying to find yourself and you're taking your time and you're trying to make shit perfect. 
And then you got fans rushing you. You got, you got fans. You said they not doing. You got uh huh. Uh huh. Like, but I'm gonna top it up with you about his situation. But I need y'all to get off him real quick because there's a lot of shit that y'all don't understand. That yeah, niggas like me. Is... Talk about people. people nah, it's, it's so deep. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy for where I'm at. I'm happy that I could chop it up with my family still because we family. I don't know if niggas, there's certain niggas that fell away. Our, our people, our certain artists move after they came off the show. Uh, they moving yeah. away. They, they, they moving OD way. They fell away. They in a bag. They, they throwing shots. They, they moving. They, the energy is weird. It's cool. That's why it's like, yo, D, it's really, it's anybody's game. You see how me and Mulatto, we be doing our thing before we know it? Six months from now, you could be the hottest fucking thing on this planet. And now me and Mulatto are like, yo, D, D, you feel me? That's why I'm telling people, like, it's really. I'm a, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let you hear something. Um, I'm a, 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 Please. Now, I heard that one remix you did, you did a remix about the end of the track, you said I not even have to say pussy, pussy. You <laughs> said something, ah! Yo, nigga, that shit was hard. But it's shit like that. Even, it's shit like, shit like that is hard because you're bringing back an old beat and then you're rapping on it in a way that niggas haven't done that before. And then it's, it's you, it's literally you. All you need, and I was listening to you, like I was watching all your videos and I don't really, I don't, you have everything, D. You have everything. All you really need is just the world to pay attention. That's all you fucking need. All you need is for the world to pay attention. No funny shit. Like, I'm oh, that has, that's it. I'm I, look, um, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Just put together like at least, have at least maybe 10 or 12 tracks finished, unreleased. Put together a project. And once you have that project done, start dropping on niggas. Start dropping on niggas. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Me, I'm telling you what I need to do because I haven't even done it. What happened? Whoa, what happened? It's 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 there. Okay, I I I'm gonna so let you I'm telling you, look, all you all you really need, cause I I need to do this. I'm telling you, niggas like little baby do it. Niggas like the baby do it. At least. D and you, and you, when I tell you different, it's easy for you because you're different. At least have like 20, not 20 because that's too much, but at least if you have like 15 records, nobody heard, it's unreleased, all you need, I right, boom, I'm dropping a record every fucking week on y'all. I'm dropping a record every week on y'all niggas for the next two months, and then I'm disappearing. Yo, I'm telling you, I can just, I already, and I'm so, you know, like, like, this year, bit my ass, daddy, this. Watching our season, and I'm just like, damn, like, like I, I see how the way your attraction was was different, cause it's like, niggas fuck with you cause you rap, like that's what you need. I'm gonna be real with you because a majority, and I don't want to bash any of the females coming out, but they're really hot cause of their pussy. Let's be real about it. They're hot. They talk about their ass. They talk about their pussy. They show their titties. I'm not that type of person for real. Like, you see it, and you do see. It. So look. They don't make a video showing any ass. They'll make a video showing any titties. The shit will do a million views first week. <laughs> but D, when I tell you that shit does not last long, it doesn't last long. It's D. really that's why I'm not stressed about that shit at all. That's why when people tell me, oh, you need to make songs like this. You need to make shit like that. You need to start oh. this. You need to start doing shit like that. Like, I'm not stressing it because that shit going to get me hot. And then I'm going to be done in like, mm, give me three months. Yeah, oh, exactly. Like, not, that's not important. That's why I don't my first EP is yo. When I tell you my first EP, my little my my first EP is still streaming. Just off of like, I try to make I try to make music that is like not mm -hmm. too deep, but I try to make music that is like it lasts a little long. You feel me? All right, I'm a quality person. I'm not a 
I'm not a, I'm not a, oh, I need to do this, do that person. Like, I'm working, like, while the people out here doing they shit, you feel me, getting they shit, I'm, I'm working on my shit. That's the thing, like, with, with me, people, people, like, some of these people, like, some of these people favorite artists, they be dropping, 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 and that shit don't be consistent. Like, every, like, got skippable within that shit. Yeah, 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 like, you listen to a tape, there's, like, two or three hot records, and then the other shit is like, all right, cool. Right, yeah. like, I take time with my shit. Like I'm not a popular, popular, popular artist for real, but my shit got my shit. Listen, my my people listen to my shit and be like, "Yo, it's no skits." Like my album, my mm -hmm. shit, diverse everybody. My yeah. shit got on Netflix. What the fuck? Peep, yeah, yeah, yo, I peep that, my nigga. That shit right like there. Yeah, that's legend. I, I'm not sure if I hit you about that. Maybe I forgot because I was high as fuck. But I saw that you posted it, and I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, you know you feel me? Like, this shit is there. Like, it's working. It's working. Like, my shit, like, I'm not, I'm not there. When, you're, when you're not popping shit consistently, you're, you're leaving room for whack niggas to come in. If you're putting pressure on niggas, and like you said, you're not going to drop whack shit. So, yeah. drop five fire tracks back to back. Maybe yeah. the first two months, you need to give it like a year and push it, promote it, and then you let nigga like, I'm telling you, D, you got it. You got it. Like, and one thing you need is talent. And then it's like, besides the talent, what you need next is the team. I don't know what your management and what your team is looking like, but believe it or not, Deep Shinada, like, it don't matter how talented you are. I've seen so many talented people, and that's why I'm telling you this. That's why, that's why these whack niggas are winning. Because they got a fucking solid team behind them. They got a team pushing them. They got a right. team playing music everywhere. That's what, right. you, that's what you need. That's I've been doing I've been doing this shit. All this time niggas have seen, heard of me. I've been doing this shit. By yourself. By yourself. Doing this shit. Doing this shit. You, like, you get bragging rights for that, but I'm telling you, you need the team. Right. Like, it gets to a point where it's like, you know what? I've been doing this for myself for too long. Right. That's that's what I felt like. I'm like, yo, I've been, my, yo, it got to a point where I got kicked out of my house. I'm over here with mm -hmm. my... I'm over here depressed. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I was doing, I was doing shout outs on Cash App. I was over here like, yo, um, I'm, I don't even, I'm, I'm sure everybody peeped, but it got to a point where I was embarrassed, each and other. Like, I was just embarrassed because I wanted to get high. I'm over here doing shout outs to get high. I'm like, yo, DM me if you want a Cash App promo. I'm reposting your, your, your SoundCloud. I'm reposting everything, and I would just do that to get high because I wanted, I blew all my money from tour. I'm over here doing bad. Yo, it was embarrassing, Dee Janata. So when I tell you, like, it don't matter what, where you feel like you are as far as being low, nigga, you could flip that shit around and be on top of the world. That's how I see it. Yeah, you flip that shit right in front of my eyes, nigga. You flip that shit. I was just like, damn, I think I'm on. Finally, I'm finally, nigga, to see how hard my nigga. So tell me, you and Roscoe next. I need y'all niggas next. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you, Flaws Game Two. I wanna. I need, I need y'all three. And, and, I mean, I love everybody. I wish everybody, here's the fucked up thing though. Not everybody's gonna blow up, believe it or not. And that's the fucked up thing about it. Like, I got off that TV show and I'm like, yo, who knows? Maybe all my niggas, maybe we could all blow up. And the fucked up thing is, it's not meant for everybody, D. That's why I'm having this conversation with you because I know it's meant for you. I know it's meant for Roscoe because Roscoe is another nigga with that drive. But with you, it's just like, you're different. Like, you're first you're crazy. Nah, yeah. Nah, for sure. Like that nigga, he. I mean, I see what he's doing. I told him, I'm like, yo, listen to the artist coming out and do something different. And he has a little bit of both. He's doing something different, but he still has that style. That's why it's like, we just gotta all link up. No cap. You gotta link up, chop it up, wild out. I miss y'all niggas for real, but I'm having this conversation with you because I know what you could do. Like, for you, it could be bigger than what it is. Like, I already know, like, you could be like on some, like, it's that you, be, you remind me of Lauren Hell. You feel me? All you need to do is just learn how to sing on some different shit. Cause you, the way you rap is already above that. Like I don't you feel. Like, I don't feel like niggas. Yo, I'm gonna chop it up. Nah, my, yeah. Like I'm just. That's why I'm hyped. Like the shit I've been going through, yo, put me in a whole different bag. Like I'm going to fuck. I'm going off. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm coming. That's why I'm. I'm. I'm sitting here hibernating. You know, getting my shit together, make sure uh -huh. I got shot, make sure I got my PR kit done, my EP uh -huh. kit done, the shit done. You feel me? Making sure I got all my shit because these niggas drop it with no plan. I got yeah. my shit. Mm. You see, 
got my shit, my shit still spaced out. I dropped my album a year ago. My shit still going. Uh-uh, it's a shut, nigga. And, and, a and year. Still and going. Me too. And the mm -hmm. most of these niggas are winning because they sold their soul already. But that's another conversation you're not ready for. That's another conversation. You know, I hate when niggas be like, yo. Um, like, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but they'll compare artists. Like, for example, they'll be like NBA Youngboy and Little Dirk. And they'll be like, yo, I like Little Dirk, but NBA Youngboy has more Spotify views. Or NBA Youngboy has, yo, it's not about fucking views. If y'all niggas knew how many views y'all favorite rapper was buying, y'all would stop saying that shit. But that's a conversation y'all niggas not ready for. And a nigga like me saying it is not going to really mean anything. But when the whole industry saying it, yo, y'all favorite rapper really don't have, the views don't be organic. Let's talk about that. Y'all need to stop doing that when y'all compare numbers and views. Stop doing that shit. But niggas, like, y'all comparing views and shit. Y'all comparing views. This, my song, Good, got 100K top. You feel me? Your favorite artist got 5 million. The label buying the views. But y'all don't want to talk about that shit, they though. 4 million, and y'all wouldn't even know about that. But all right, cool. That's a conversation niggas not ready for. That's why I'm just like, just wait till turn D. You're genuine. And the fucking thing is, like, I love the industry because it's really about relationships. Believe it or not, when, when last two oh, long relationships, you know how many niggas, you know how many people in the industry I've chopped it up with? And they just like, yo, like, I came across this artist and he's a dickhead. Yo, they cut niggas off just for being dickheads. You yeah, right. Like, they know from somewhere or somebody related to somebody somehow like it was everybody, cocky. everybody connected to each other. if you don't know nobody you don't got shit in this industry no nah, exactly money that's you no know. that's how you grow up in this industry talent yes that's the basis but, but image, money who you know that's it that's really it that's what i'm telling you we're gonna chop it up there i promise you you, you won't be on a different level we're gonna think you just gonna get to a point well, maybe a, maybe a couple months, cause it could be a, it could be a couple weeks before you blow up. You never know. That's that's the crazy thing about social media nowadays. But it's gonna get to a point where you're where you are. You gonna sit back and you gonna be like, damn, like I remember, like I I was there in that position. I was sitting back. I was waiting for my turn, and I blew up bigger than I was supposed to. Right. I'm telling you, like you got nigga, you got girls like Billie Eilish fucking with you. Girls like that that been in tune with you. Like, and Billie Eilish is bigger than this. We signed to the same label. She got a statue of Ali. My nigga, D. D. Trinata. She, she was commenting on my shit like a minute back. Like, back when I was 16, I had dropped, I had dropped my gummo freestyle. And yeah. right before she blew up, like, she had dropped ocean. She had, like, dropped ocean eyes. This was, like, right before she dropped Don't Talk to Me or some shit, right? And she was commenting on my shit. And I was just like, Who's this girl? I'm on her page. I'm like, let me follow her. She commented on my shit. Then she like went and got like five million followers out of nowhere. Everybody was like, Billy, I was just commenting on your shit. I'm like, this, like I know her. Like, like fuck. <laughs> then like that. Like it's just the right. way. Like it's 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 a lot of shit. You know. She got a statue. Fucking label. I remember I walked into the label when I did my first interview with Interscope. So, Cause at that time I'm just like, I don't know what's gonna happen. She had a fucking statue in the lobby. Bro, that shit is legendary. Like, I'm a big fan of Billy, but I peep that like, like, like this age is Britney Spears like fame level wise. Like that's <laughs> Yeah. But I'm telling you, right. G, you on your way, my nigga. Like I, I I barely get to chop it up with people. Cause when I tell you I'll be in my own zone, I'll be a, I don't know, I'll be feeling like I'm alone mentally. I'm not sure if you'll be feeling like that, but when it comes to this music shit, sometimes I feel like I'm alone mentally. I shut down. And it's hard when you're in the spotlight and when niggas, when niggas hold you to certain expectations. They expect certain things from you. I suffer from mad shit. I could go on days talking about how fucked up I am. But it's not worth it, you feel me? That's why when I tell you, D, you in a good position, because the spotlight is on you, but to an extent, you have time to fuck up. You got time to get yourself right. Once you make that hit, once you blow up, everybody's on your dick now. What's next, Dijonada? What's next, Dijonada? <laughs> all right, what's next? We want more from you. Niggas get ungrateful sometimes. You drop a project, all right, when's the next project dropping? Right. You right. just lock in and record. So when you drop that project, you'll be like, nigga, I got 20 more songs I can drop on you. I need to relax. I can't say that. I'm over here trying to fucking record. I'm over here lazy. I'm 
it gets to a point where it's, it's different with me because like I, I barely record, but when I record, I record. Like I record. I, I just be depressed, D. Like I've been going through mad shit mentally. And that's it, that's neither here said or done. And that's not that's a conversation for later, but it's just like the fans really understand to an extent, because y'all really only know what I show y'all. Right. Like, y'all really only know there's more to the story. That's why D, explain your story through your music. That's what I gotta do now. I don't feel like I've done that yet. If you listen to my music, you just hear regular shit that niggas can relate to. But you don't really hear, you don't hear that pain. Getting that bag, cause I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's all that is, D. But no cap, we gonna top it up. I'm gonna give you my number right now, actually. I'm gonna get off this loud, I'm gonna DM you my number. Uh -huh. just, if you got any shit you wanna send me, I'm gonna send you some shit too. Just to show you where I'm trying to go with my music and shit. And let's chop it up, nigga. I love you, no cap. And I'm glad you're in good spirits. You got good energy and you're doing your fucking thing, D. No cap. <laughs> I'm ready, yo. All right, my nigga. Of course, D. I'm gonna chop it up with you. I love you, nigga. Safety. All right, love you, yo. Right. Who is my nigga, D? For those, I know y'all niggas know who that is. Y'all know, because if y'all, y'all know about the rap game, I'm gonna be real with you. There was only one female lyricist to ever go on that show. We really do, you feel me, she did that. I never heard like a female lyricist really do what she did. Especially at that age, at that age and on that show. Like, y'all niggas, I don't know. I don't know, she, that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's really about your timing. It's about whenever the time is right, when shit is meant to be. Mulatto, I love Mulatto, she doing her thing. Oh my God, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her, I'm proud of myself too, but to an extent, because I could be huger than what I am. You feel me? But D about to blow the fuck up. My nigga Roscoe about to blow the fuck up. Key, Key working still. My nigga Key about to blow the fuck up. Nia K, she working. She about to blow up. It's just a matter of time. You feel me? That's all it is. It's really just a matter of time. Don't rush your time. If the time is not meant for you, don't rush it. That's something I had to realize. I was mad and patient. I remember I used to see mad niggas. I used to see mad niggas coming out my city. Like, yo, why is he blowing up? Why is he blowing up? And I would, I would be depressed. I'll be sad. Like I'm just like, yo, I feel like I got talent and nobody care about me. I waited my turn, and before I knew it, I blew up bigger than a lot of people. So it's really about it's really about you feel me, just putting in that work and waiting your turn. Yo, Roscoe, I love you, nigga. Keep fucking working. We are gonna chop it up. It's all about your turn. Stay true to yourself and chop. You feel me? That's all it is. But I'm off this like soap dicks. I'm off this, I'm, um, I'm out of here, like my, my, okay, I'm off this, I'm chatting. I love y'all, safety, I'm gonna give y'all some type of inspiration, I don't know, keep doing your thing though, I love y'all.